Now, the first thing I recommend, uh, well, actually, let's go and take a look at uh, some more of these apps here. But basically, the most important app right now is going to be the MyQNAP Cloud. MyQNAP Cloud is a way to connect to your NAS over the internet. Now, uh, I have most of this uh, set up already, but basically, when you get started, you sign in or you create a MyQNAP Cloud account, and then you register your NAS, and then you enable it. So let's get started. I'm going to sign into mine because I already have an account. The next step you have to do is to name your NAS. Now I already registered the QNAP NAS name. So I'm going to do, uh, <clears throat> let's do my, let's do my QNAP NAS. Um, and then you get a web link uh, that you can save as a favorite in your favorite browser and then when you click on it you'll be able to sign into your NAS with your uh, I guess with our situation a default username and password so uh, let me make it a little bit more personal because if you don't then it will search and make sure uh, that nobody else has that name so I'll just put a Dave at the end or whatever you know uh, I doubt there's anybody who registered that way so let's let that load so now it's going to configure my router uh, so that it goes right through my router and it allows services over the internet. And this is one of the most important steps to take uh, to get your NAS over the internet. Because what good is a NAS uh, if you can't connect to it over the internet? Okay, so now that the, we have a device name and we have our link here uh, we'll be able to get on and uh, set up VPN and and all that other stuff so we hit finish and you see we have a blue light on everything including the cloud sync um, or cloud link so now we can manage our account and what it's going to do is going to take us to a web page it's the myqnapcloud.com and basically we can sign in uh, using admin admin or whatever way you set it up and you have your device here you can have check out your shared links let's sign in now admin admin by default and now you can access all of your folders um, you can see your shared folders over the internet and you can see your shared links that people shared with you uh, or you sent to share for yourself and then here's your NAS here and you have a whole bunch of different uh, things that you can use we can click on file station and it's going to tell you to connect HTTPS or HTTP I like that uh, but you can also connect using it like this but now we're just going to go right over and it's going to open up uh, remotely uh, re open up our QNAP uh, if I wasn't in my local area I'll be able to get access to it now uh, once again, it looks just like it does when you're at home. Once again, we get the plugin install problem, but uh, I'm sure that will be remedied when Chrome or Google comes out with a 64-bit browser. If you're a big fan of Chrome and you want to use it with this QNAP, uh, that might be a problem. But anyway, uh, in any event, uh, we have our QNAP cloud, uh, and we can now do whatever we want. Uh, we can, you know, get in anywhere, any way we want, uh, whether it's from the internet or from our home. So now we're here. Uh, this is the QTS 4.1.0, uh, and I think uh, it's pretty nice to have. Uh, 